Hello everyone, welcome back, thank you so so much for joining me. So as you can see, just before we get into the video, new background, it's a little bit plainer than it was before, but I needed to do this. <laughs> the background tat was like getting too much for me to be honest with you. We'll we'll get to know it. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you like me don't really like change, but um, I felt a bit overproduced to like nowadays climate. Anyway. Okay, let's just get straight into this video. So the other week, if you follow any of my other social media platforms, you would have seen that I had the most amazing opportunity to actually in person meet Selena Gomez herself with Rare Beauty to celebrate the launch of her new lipstick collection. Now, this is the PR box for the kind words lipstick and lip liners. And these are all the lipsticks and lip liners inside. So the Rare Beauty team kind of gave us a little bit of a challenge as content creators to come up with an idea of some content to film with Selena herself. So what I did was I did free face charts. I had these amazing face charts from this brand. I'll leave a link below for you because they're already drawn out and all you do is put the makeup on. I've had them for so long and I've wanted to use them. So I thought, let me do some face charts and I will get Selena to recommend a lipstick for the look using her lip products. So what I'm going to do is recreate all three of those looks um, with Selena's recommendations and I'll put those in just now. Okay, so I'm here with Selena Gomez herself celebrating her new incredible lipsticks and lip liners. So I have a little challenge, nothing crazy, you know I love a visual aid. So I basically have three face shots that I've drawn and I just wanted to make a lip combination for me to go with this look and then I'm going to recreate them when I get it. Oh my god, Okay, nice. so I have this one first. Oh I've done like a black kind of halo-y kind of smoky eye. And I just want a lip to go with this nice. look. Nice, okay. Let's <laughs> show them that beautiful. I think I would suggest going with... Yeah, I know that. Wise. Mm, yeah. yes. I think wise. It's like a nude, but a bit of colour. Beautiful, perfect. Next one. Yes. So this is more of a colourful cut Ooh. crease. I was going to say natural, but it is green, so it's not at all. It's very. <laughs> Let's show them. Ooh. Very. Very orange cheeks. Okay. And what kind of combination do we think of this one? I'm thinking... Talented. That's yeah. what I wore yesterday. This is a good one, because I like my lips to be like hardly anything, so yes. this with a bit of um, concealer around the edges. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now the next look is the only one I've named. This is called Bloody Me. Oh! <laughs> oh and I've gone for something with a little bit more personality oh, for this one. Fierce. So what are we thinking as a lip for this? Oh, this is tricky because yeah. we can go bold. Right, or nude or whatever. I think we're going yeah. for bold and strong. Beautiful. This Perfect. big color is yeah. so pretty. So pretty. Well, thank you so thank much. You, I'm going to recreate these at home oh, and so show fun. everyone. Thank you so much. It's so good to meet you. Let me just say something about meeting Selena. For those of you who don't know, I filmed a video with Selena Gomez over Zoom at the beginning of this year um, to celebrate Rare Beauty launching in the UK at Space NK, um, which is where you can get um, all the Rare Beauty stuff here if you're in the UK. I'll leave US and UK links below for all the products. That was great anyway. Meeting Selena on online, I guess, not in real life. She was instantly kind of like just calming. It felt like really, really nice to speak to her. Meeting her in real life, and here's why I love Rare Beauty, right? Another reason why I love Rare Beauty. The way Selena seems incredibly invested in this brand, her own brand, compared to, I don't want to do compared to other celebrity brands, but, to, but compared to other brands, she seems incredibly present in her own creation, which I really, really like. An absolute pleasure to meet. So kind and so nice. So a big thank you to Rare Beauty and Selena for having me. Okay, so let's recreate this look. This is the only one I named, as I said in the video, and this is called Bloody Mabel. For those of you who don't know, Bloody Mabel is a character from Only Murders in the Building. Um, not a character, Mabel's a character. Um, so let's recreate this one together. So this is the first look, and Selena chose Wise for this whole look. The pencil is a really nice, almost like pinky taupe. I imagine this going well with any kind of like nudes you already have. And this is it with the lipstick coming into more for autumn kind of nude. This one would be perfect. Okay, and next up is Talented. Now this one, Talented the pencil was kind of actually just my lip color, but a little bit more muted. So what I did, 
was take the pencil. I thought, wait a minute, you know how I like to block out any redness in my lip? I thought, let me take the pencil and just color in my whole lip with it to erase the lip and then put the lipstick color on top. It looked really nice. The pencil on the whole lip wasn't drying. It didn't feel tight. It was actually extremely comfortable. Now, Selena did choose quite a bold lip color, which isn't really me, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna start off with a Rare Beauty eye primer first. Oh my God, I have like five brushes in front of me. That's not good. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this to lightly, I've got like flaky bits of my brows, lightly carve out my brows. And then I'll just take it onto the lid just to prime also. So let me tell you a little bit about the, the evening of Selena and how this went, basically. So we uh, we arrived at um, the place where it was, and I was kind of nervous, because this was this is my first, like, event event. Like, I've been to some events, and I had eye poo all this time. But this was, like, my first, I guess, beauty event, apart from my own masterclass. So there was a lot of UK influencers I hadn't met yet. And to be honest with you, I've had more interaction with influencers based in the US and I have in the UK, just in terms of talking to them online and, and everything like that. So I was kind of like, I was a little bit nervous because it's like my first day at school almost, you know? Um, so I messaged um, Soph before, you know, Soph does life. And just to see if she was going, I was like, please, please like tell me you're going because then at least I know someone there because I've met Soph before. Um, she was on our podcast and then I also met her in real life um, near a Christmas last year. And she was, which is good. Let me tell you how I clung to Soph like a baby koala on her mother's back. <laughs> but we had a great evening. We hang out together. We um, spoke to um, quite a few people. I met some great, great, like, UK influencers who you all probably know. I saw the Rare Beauty team again. A lot of them who I met when they were in the UK before. And some people who I hadn't met but kind of spoke to... Um, when I was doing my Zoom thing with Selena. And also the Space and K team who I met when I was doing my masterclass with Space and K and Rare Beauty. So it was it was a really nice combination of meeting new people and meeting like um, people who I already knew. So that was really nice. Had a great evening, the drinks were amazing, took a picture of Selena. So basically I got there and as soon as I got in, they, they usually have like a few glasses of champagne and I was like, I don't drink champagne, but let me drink it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. So, um, but it was like my turn straight away. I think I had one sip of champagne and then he came up to me and was like, Robert, it's your turn to film. I was like, oh my God, okay. So got in there straight away, met Selena and it was just like meeting a really nice person. <laughs> she was, she was incredibly nice. She was really down for my idea of like creating these looks and, um, so easy to talk to. So incredibly easy to talk to. And even watching her interact with everyone else so sweet, so kind. And I just had a great evening from then on. I think I drank too much, but not in like a, like a over the top, like, oh my God, I'm so drunk. Wait, I don't know why I'm saying this. Okay, anyway. Okay, so I kind of want to create that, like this eye look, you know, that kind of like swooping redness. So just as a little base, I'm going to use Nearly Berry um, Liquid Eyeshadow. These are extremely kind of natural on the eyes. So I'm just going to use this to kind of halo and almost outline where I'm going to go. I did a wear test with these a while back. They were really extremely long lasting. It didn't crease once on my whole lid, which actually I don't really expect um, cream eyeshadow to crease. So I'm going to start off with like a base of this and then I'm going to let it dry down and then I'll go in with a little bit more just to double up that kind of colour and then I'm going to go over with a little bit of eyeshadow too. Oh and I just want to say something right which I maybe I shouldn't have like had this mis misconception but one reason I was kind of worried to meet other influencers was because I'm used to working in the beauty industry, right? Before influencing. And I know how bitchy it could be. And I was going with the thought in mind that it would be the same. Um, and I just couldn't be bothered for that energy again. You know, like I'm a 33 years old, like I'm not a child anymore. I don't want <laughs> to be in those situations. But every single person I met was so nice and so like had the time for everyone it was it was really 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 nice and i regret maybe not attending events before because of that reason so meeting a lot of people and really and familiar faces as well was was really really nice um and i didn't meet one person who was like horrible in real life all really, really lovely. Okay, now we have this like inside. This is kind of like a signature look for me. I do this quite often. 
So we always want to take that like a little bit through the socket, like we're doing a halo eye almost. And just bring it right through here. And this is going to outline and halo the black. So it doesn't matter if it's too um wispy, you know. Also, today is like the hottest day in the UK. So I'm filming, it's like almost seven o'clock in the morning. And I'm like filming this, trying to beat the heat. Because I plan on doing absolutely nothing except sit in front of an aircon unit all day. I was gonna go over this, but I actually think it's dark enough because I'm gonna go over now with eyeshadow anyway. So I'm gonna be taking the Discovery eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take a tiny bit of a shade Loyal because I wanna deepen up these inside corners, but still keep it that like ready brown almost. And this looks really good with um, a gloss on top if you want to do something that's kind of neutral but still has a bit of an impact. So it just adds that slight depth to the look. We are going to go in with black as well, so it is going to get more depth here. But... Okay, now I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow and um, kind of sweep it across. This look kind of has like this sweeping motion, so good luck to me. <laughs> And then I, def I want that kind of like definite black across the waterline. So I'm going to take a more tapered brush. And give that a little blend in. Just before we go into skin, one thing that I've been using a lot is the four in one. Um, always an Optimist Mist. You can see this is the most I've ever used like a spray product since being an influencer because I have so many. But I've been using this after my skincare. Don't worry about the eyes. And I've been letting it just sit on the skin. And the reason I've been liking it so much is because it kind of does what a serum does on my skin in terms of the way my skin feels afterwards. It feels plump and hydrated without actually like leaving a layer of anything tacky, anything on my skin. So I've been using that a lot and also after my foundation. I've been doing my foundation spraying and leaving it for like 20 minutes and I blot it all very gently and very slightly. And then um, powder afterwards. Okay, so let's go in with, oh no, where did I just put it? I was literally just holding it. So we're going to go in with the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I'm going to use the smallest little bloop, bloop. Now usually I kind of like cut off the eyeshadow and make it a little bit more, um, what's the word? Sharp, but I kind of want this to have like a jagged edge. I do have my Rare Beauty Concealer brush, but, and foundation brush, but, um, I haven't cleaned them because I'm lazy. I really, I really need to clean them. So I always just use a bit of concealer, basically where I'm really red on my nose here. And then I always tuck it into these little areas because they kind of sink in a little bit. And sometimes I look like this. So just to add a little bit of concealer, just adds a bit of brightness to that area. Then I'm going to go back in with Nearly Berry under the eyes. And this is going to go quite low because we're going to have black lining the lash line. And because it's a little bit more of like a dark, like gothic -y look, I guess, or grungy, I should say, we can definitely make it look a bit more like tired eyes. By the way, the light will keep on changing a little bit because I have my blinds shut today because of how hot it is. I'm trying to keep um, the outside outside. <laughs> so usually I have like a, another light shining on me and it kind of keeps the lighting a little bit more constant, you know? Okay, let's go in with that black eyeshadow. I'm gonna pop a little bit of black um, pencil on the waterline. Okay, foundation. Of course, we're gonna go in with a liquid touch weightless foundation. Let me just... Shade match myself here. I've tanned since. This is shade 210N, which I'm actually a little bit pinker than this, but this is fine for now. You can add a bit of bronzer, blush, everything like that, and we'll be all good. No one will ever know. I'm just gonna use one of the bronzer sticks. This is a shade Power Boost. And I like this one on me, because it's kind of like, it has a bit more of a neutral tone. Um, once it's blended in, it looks it looks a bit like sculpting rather than bronzing so much. 
And what I, one thing I really like, especially about these bronzers as well, is you can actually draw them on your face like this. And look, they actually blend. They don't like stay in place like some. You have to really keep buffing and buffing it out. Okay, we're gonna go in with the infamous Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. And this is the shade Encourage. I've gone for something a little bit more. Oh, are you, oh my God, you don't need that much. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna go in with something a little bit more ready, a little bit more vibrant to go with this look. And I'm putting it just above that bronzing stick. Okay, we're going in with the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer, and this is a shade Mesmerize. I usually typically use Enchant, which is lighter, but this one kind of has like a rosy gold finish. So I think I look really cute with a red. And I am going in for quite a bit because I love this, and it never looks unnatural, so. It just looks like healthy, glowing skin. Ugh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm going to do my finishing up this look. And then we're going to use the lipstick. So I'm just going to use a little bit more of a spray. Give it a good shake before, because it's... I got oil blue to it. Okay, so Selena went for the shade Strong, which is this incredibly deep, strong lip colour, which I don't usually do, but we're doing it today for Selena. I might do like a bleeding lip because it is a bloody Mabel look. So this is the lipstick itself. It has this really cute kind of like push action here. And then this is the lipstick. It doesn't smell like anything. Sometimes you get some lipsticks that have um, like a vanilla -y scent or like an overwhelming scent and you can kind of taste it. I like fragrance in the products, but when it comes to the lip, I'm a little bit like, mm. so that's good. It doesn't have anything too strong. Huh? And then, of course, you have the lip liner to go with it as well. These are, oh, are these wind up? They're wind up. Oh, whew. And yes, the sharpener in the bottom. So the lip liner, let's just give it a little try in noodle here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is so smooth and creamy, there's no dragging at all, it doesn't drag on the lip, like I didn't even stretch my lips out or anything like that, and look, it doesn't drag, it just glides on perfectly, oh my god, Ew. okay, let's go on with the lipstick, so what I'm gonna do is kind of keep the lipstick quite centralised, fill in these gaps just here with a pencil, I love that colour. I was a little bit worried because it was so intense and I never usually wear strong colour. But bleeding out like that, beautiful. Okay, let's go on some lashes and we'll do some powder and we'll finish up this look. Okay, so this is our finished look using the Strong Lipstick and Liner from the Kind Words Lip Collection. I hope you enjoyed discovering these lipsticks. They are incredibly comfortable. I can't even feel it on my lip right now. They are so soft, so lightweight, but so packed full of colour, even blended out like this. Um, yeah, I'm so happy I got to share my experience meeting Selena Gomez with you and going to the Rare Beauty event. Like I said, I'll link everything down below for you. There's different places for the UK and the US. I think I've definitely discovered a few new favourite lip shades here. And it's so nice when a lipstick doesn't feel like a heavy lipstick. It's just so soft. Okay, well, thank you so much again for joining me. Please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.